Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hey, that's my line. No. Yes, you can't but be I'm, saying I'm that. I'm taking over the channel. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be the Mr. Chevy Dude channel. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. This is what happens on day like 34 of quarantine. Oh my god. We need this stuff all over. Guys, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are still in quarantine. I don't know what day we're on. Like two, I uh, think. Yeah. It's going crazy. I've already had to spend two rough days with you. <laughs> so uh, we're actually headed to the store today because uh, I do have a couple C8 orders that dropped today. So luckily Jack Cooper down in Bowling Green, Kentucky is still shipping cars during this quarantine so I can get some people their cars. Our dealership is essentially closed and not allowing people to come into the dealership, but we can do everything remotely. Uh, the one customer actually is local and they've already paid for the car because we were anticipating this. So he literally can just come pick it up outside the dealership and go home. Like I'll leave the keys in it and he can leave, right? And then uh, secondly, the other person is actually from Tennessee and uh, I can do everything remotely there and I can have the car shipped to him. I can meet him somewhere. I'm personally not worried about this stuff. We'll do the great social distancing thing. Keep away from people. Stay away from me, lady. Eight feet, eight feet. So I want nothing to do with you. Good, I don't want nothing to do with you. So, but, uh, uh, so yeah, so we're gonna go in and check these cars out and uh, we'll have a little fun today. But first, let's get a cold start. I'm setting this up like I have a manual transmission car and Mrs. Chevy is like back there. Hey, you have a remote start now. You don't have to do all the <laughs> set setup. Yeah, hey, so let's do this. New feature for Chevrolet. All you have to do is hit that button twice. No more, longer have to lock it. It sounds good, guys. It sounds good. But we need to step it up a little bit. All right, we're going to do a double cold start. I have my remote start on my manual transmission car. She's hopping in right now. Oh my gosh, that's what the car needs to sound like. She's trying to rev it. She can't do it. She's scared. All right, so here we are at the dealership. This is crazy. It's absolutely dead here. And I don't think I've ever been here on a weekday. It's currently 1040 in the morning. Just nobody is here. It looks like there's a couple people back for service here, but people can be here for service. The service and the parts area of the dealership, it's an essential business, so they can be here. So right here are the ground effects for the car. I know a lot of people on Instagram uh, have been asking me, where's those ground effects at? A lot of people on, down in the comment section, where are the ground effects at? Where are the ground effects at? Well, they're right here, but I'm not putting these on now. I've got something better to do. I'll update you on that uh, in a future video, but these ground effects are not going on. They are effectively for sale now. So I told you guys, the service department is completely open. All the service riders are here, everybody's here. The service department is just probably not as busy as they'd like to be, but it's, you know, everybody's working. Ooh, look at that. Little Monte Carlo SS, Dale Earnhardt Intimidator version. Love it. Man, I walked back here and I thought there was another one. That one is just a black Monte Carlo. All right, there they are. We'll check these out. I'll do a full spec on what they are. This white one right here. Um, this one should be staying here locally. Yes, this one is uh, a good friend of mine. He's a YouTube subscriber as well. This one's gonna stay here locally. Oh yeah, we did do transparent top. This has got transparent top. I was thinking he did carbon fiber top, but uh, transparent top and we're gonna do uh, the same wheels that I have on my car. So he just didn't upgrade his factory wheels. And then that one over there, you can see this one is black, right? Nope, this is shadow gray. This is shadow gray, red interior. This is gonna go to the uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee is where this one's going. And this customer here, let me spec out his car. He he just basically signed off and I was like, yep, good for me, Mike. You build the car the way I want it. I want the exterior and interior color. Outside that, you just build it the way you want to build it. He literally let me build his car for him. Crazy. So how expensive of a car do you think I built for him? Throw your thoughts on the MSRP down in the comment section. We'll see who's closest. If you're right, I'll pin your comment. So I was just looking at the computer here because I have so many orders in and uh, just don't know where I'm at. So I've got two vehicles currently in stock. They're both at the museum. They're gonna be doing museum deliveries. And then uh, the other two, got here today which i just showed you and outside that i have no more cars built uh coming in i do have that pre-production car that andrew zurich at uh, complete street performance bought but um uh so 
I assume we're still getting that one. It's not in our system. So um, I'm hearing that that might ship this week. So we'll see. And then I got 46 units um, in the system. And uh, some of them were supposed to be built the week of three, nine, and they didn't get built. So then I have a couple that are supposed to be built the week of three, 16, not gonna be built. And then one being built the week of three, 23, not being built out of 46 units. That's all I have with uh, build weeks. And obviously none of those are going to happen. So um, we'll just have to talk about it and uh, we'll have to communicate about it, but 46 units still in there. So hopefully they all get built for 2020 and uh, we'll see what happens. Definitely rough times. Definitely, um, I've told many, many people this, it's definitely a, um, a foobard type launch. Uh, some of it's GM's fault. Some of it's not, um, you know, I think the union tried to make an example out of GM because they had some, some points with the, with the C8 launch. We can't do anything about COVID-19 with coronavirus. Um, just, you know, there's just some things beyond our control and just uh, normal things that happen with launch. So uh, hopefully these cars get built. I can deliver some cars and uh, we'll go from there because the only thing that's uh, uh, keeping, uh, keeping me selling cars is all these cars. So I got two more cars to deliver and we're done. All right, so I got all the paperwork done. It's going to Tennessee for my client. My other customer's local, and we actually did paperwork last week. I can't remember if I talked about that or not already. But uh, one of the interesting things that about the C8 is uh, this back here actually does get really hot. So I just got a couple things back here uh, that don't mean anything, but uh, we went and got ice cream the other day and I made sure I put it in the front trunk because we didn't want it to melt on the way home. Also, uh, getting into this car, it's really like having a uh, true supercar. Uh, we do luckily have a nice glove box down here like most Lamborghinis and Ferraris. You don't have that. You don't have cup holders and stuff like that. But now that Mrs. Chevy dude is in the car, it's really difficult to put the camera somewhere. You're blaming me? Yeah, absolutely. I'm blaming you. You're taking up my camera seat spot. Well, then don't it called me shotgun. <laughs> so, <laughs> so typically like in the C7, if I have the camera, I would just kind of like reach back here and put it like in the trunk because that's all open. Well, there's nothing back there. You can't do it. So I have to force her to hold the camera now. Mm -hmm. Here you go, hold it. All right, so leaving the dealership, we've got 393 miles in the car. Man, I'm trying so hard to get to 500, but with all of this stuff going on, it's just so difficult to get there. Red light, red light, red light. <laughs> What do you think? You want to just drive 100 miles so we can hit 500 miles today? Uh, we might be able to do that. Let's go to where we're going. Let's get something to eat. And let's just go drive. Gotta have a bathroom. Nah. <laughs> bathroom, low priority right here. Oh my gosh, the pull on this thing. Did that scare you? I saw you. I saw you tighten up and try to grab something. Only because there was a vehicle in front of us. <laughs> it was not that close, though. All right, so we are here at Sam's Club because we need some essential items. Hey, check that out! I sold that Ford Transit van right there. Senator Plumbing here in Louisville. They bought that for me. That's always cool to see your customers out and about. See if we can find them in here. All right, first item: Tide Pods. Limit one, let's get two. So this is the first time that I've been to a grocery store and it's absolutely crazy that all of this stuff is like empty and stuff like that. But the really interesting thing is the most expensive food is still here. So uh, I'm a huge brisket fan. So I think we're gonna be getting a brisket and uh, we have a Traeger grill at home. So I think we're gonna be smoking some brisket boys. Believe all right, we got water. water. Yeah, I know. I can't believe they have do they have plenty of water here. Ooh, Fiji water. Here's some Fiji. Um, but you think this is gonna fit the car? I think we can possibly get two in the front. Let's do it. Older people are Where are you going? You wanna put it in the back or the front? We're gonna see if it can fit in the front. No, I think you should put it in the back. Let's see if you put it over that wing. <laughs> That can, ain't happening. You can barely get in that cart a over that wing. All right, let's try the front. I don't think we can get two of these in here. One for sure. Of course, I should have put my purse down. <laughs> You're gonna put it on the side. I have to put my, no, I knew that, but I was trying this oh first. Gosh. But then you have my purse that was 
Oh. No. Well, I guess you could put one, you could stack it on top. You're not, you're definitely not gonna be able to put it just like normal, set it in there. No, you're not gonna do that. Can you give me a second? No, I'm trying to dictate what you're this doing. This is ripped on the side. Why'd so... you buy a ripped one? Did we get this kind of one? Yeah, that's not gonna fit. You're above this. All right, you know, put it in the back. Who's trying, having me try stuff. Put it in the back. Come on. All right, we're up to 405 miles, guys. We're going to come to uh, Brownsboro Hardware and Paint because uh, we need to get some Traeger pellets and some Traeger accessories. And this is where we bought our Traeger at. So uh, we like to come back here and uh, support the local business. They're open because apparently hardware and paint stores are considered essential business. All right, we have so many choices here. I think we're going hit to the, hit the cherry. You want to get two of them? We've been using blend a lot. This is something new up here. Go probably between a blend and the cherry. All right, let's do that. Blend and cherry it is. We're good like that. Okay. There we go. I don't think we can get anything else in this car. No, probably need C7, definitely we could get more in there with the C7. Well, uh, we have a new plan. You guys know Zach. He's our oldest son. Tell him happy birthday. It's his birthday tomorrow. What are you, 12, 13 tomorrow? No. Well, by the time this video shows, it'll be beyond his birthday. Yeah, but we won't tell them that. You guys don't know that stuff. Uh, he came home and uh, he had a flat tire on the old Challenger. People have been uh, saying, why is there a Dodge in your driveway? Well, that's the reason there's a Dodge in my driveway, guys. GM, 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 Tesla, Dodge. What's worse, the Dodge or the Tesla? It's not GM. It's American. America. So uh, we're going to go to Discount Tire. Yep. All right. So let's hop in and see if we can get this thing to 500 miles today. Whoa, we're in breaking period there, buddy. What, what's up with you and your mother both hitting red line in break-in period? Do you not know what break-in period means? Under 4,000 RPM. Look what you've done. This guy wants to race now. We're not going to race him now. All right, what do you think? You like the C7? Yep. All right, so here we are at Discount Tire. We're gonna check him out and get some tires for his car. All right, we're all done here at Discount Tire and uh, 63 degrees outside. I think we're taking the top off, boys. Let's uh, let's take the top off. We'll put it here in the back and we'll head home this way. All right, guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna hit 500 miles. We got 481 on there. We're gonna go drive this thing 19 more miles. All right, guys, we are less than two tenths of a mile away from 500. Let's watch it change over. Less than one tenth. We're less than one tenth. There it is. There it is, 500. Watch the, uh, now watch the. There it goes, there it goes, yes. We have a 5,500 yellow line and a 6,500 red line. We got 500 miles on her, boys. It's time to let her rip, tater chip. Well, there you go, 500 miles. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I hope you really enjoyed this vlog of us doing everything we could to get to 500 miles with the conditions that we have in that we can't go places, we can't do things. This is not the type of vlogs I wanted to do, but we wanted to get it here so we can do full sins just like that. So guys, as always, thank you again for watching. If this is the first time you're watching the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, and make sure you support the channel at shivadudestore.com. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and drive safely.